should see this setup. It's so funny. I'm actually gonna take a picture of it. Forgot my grid. I'm actually gonna shoot a video of it. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the Sony A6500 today, the camera I use, pros and cons after one year of using, but let's roll the intro first and I'll see you after that. Give me a break. There's no flip out screen. How can you vlog with a camera that doesn't have a flip out screen? You can, that's a big issue, especially if you wanna vlog with this camera. It's a really, really good camera. Uh, if I have to think about the only thing it's missing, it's this flip out screen. And the screen you have just moves up and down. Uh, it's comfortable if you wanna shoot downhill, like if you're holding your camera from the bottom and if you wanna shoot grass and stuff like that, you, you're able to see it from the top but in uh, in bright condition it's uh, the display is like useless i mean it, i had to put a matte filter on it to have to some sort of an idea of what i was filming i'm using an external monitor a viltrox uh, 50m and it does the job but of course flip out screen would have helped a lot setup you like gets pretty big if you have to put a mount if you have to mount a uh, an external monitor and you lose uh, portability which is one of the main characteristic of this camera it's like it's really small compared to other DSLRs and it's really easy to take away the body can fit in your pocket everybody talks about this poor battery uh, I didn't have an issue with batteries I mean they were pretty good for me I bought spare uh, batteries uh, on the on Amazon of course not original ones they do their job I mean actually two of them are better than the original ones you can pick them up for 10 or 15 bucks rolling shutter that's one of the one of the main problems rolling shutter is awful of course you can fix it in post but I don't know why Sony uh, hasn't put hasn't fixed it yet I know there's some uh, firmware releases who tend to fix it but it's not it's not good yet well nobody's perfect it doesn't have a flip out screen and that's a bummer for who wants to use it as a vlogging camera rolling shutter sucks it's horrible it's awful i have no idea why sony hasn't done anything yet at least a firmware uh, update or something like that you can fix it in post of course you can and for the flip out screen you can buy an external monitor but overall it's a great camera i can start listing the pros of this camera first of all it does 180p at 120 frames per second, which is amazing. Have you ever tried this camera in low light? It's crazy. I remember a photo shoot session while I was shooting at 5000 ISO in very low light condition and these are the results. It's crazy. I didn't have any noise or any grain on the footage. It was so sharp that really shocked me. That was the first time I was working with it at, so, at such low light. I was sure nothing was uh, gonna be edited because I was just giving it a try it was my first one but it turned out to be a really really uh, nice shootout and the outcome was was amazing also the photographer I was working with said Jesus Christ that camera sees in the dark as I said before you don't have a flip out screen but you can rely on this out of focus it's simply great I don't know how to explain it to you but just like look at this That was fast, wasn't it? Of course, you need a monitor to know what, you, what you're shooting and what you're framing, but it's something you can rely on and it works really, really well. Considering its size and its weight with the lens mounted on, you can easily fix it on a gimbal. I have a Zion Crane uh, version 2. 
and it works perfectly. I mean, it's a really, really uh, light camera in a aluminum and like steel body. It's really solid in your hand. You can feel it. It's really solid compared to other uh, mirrorless cam I had in my hands, like at the Canon M50. I played with it a little bit last week and it doesn't feel that solid like the other DSLRs. It feels a lot of like really plasticky. When you hold the Sony 6500, you can feel it. It's a st like stiff body. It's like really, really well done. It, there's an eye on uh, on details. It's 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 still a really, really good camera. There's a part of me that misses uh, Canon color schemes, but I think I found a way to go around it. There's uh, apparently there's a manual on uh, on internet that explains you how to set up your Sony A6500 to match Canon color. I miss that greenish and red I used to have on my old uh, Sony ADD. But still, as I said, I would not change this camera. Is it still worth buying a Sony A6500? The answer is yes. My overall experience uh, tells me uh, positive things about it. I mean, it's a great camera, does great pictures, takes great videos. So my suggestion to you, if you want to start uh, making videos on YouTube or taking photos and start your, your YouTube channel is to buy it. Cheap prices, uh, relatively cheap. I mean, we're not talking about a uh, Canon uh, 1DX Mark II, but performance are really, really good. I mean, uh, it's still worth buying it. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm drinking a spritz right now, enjoying the sun. Summer is here already in the south of Italy. Come visit Apulia, which is a really, really nice place. I'm going to work on a video soon to show you how beautiful this area is. I really hope you liked the video. Click the like button if you did, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you on the next video.